How do we do that? How do we expand each part? Well, the first obvious way is to use different verb tenses, different verb forms. Uh, that's <coughs> a very easy way to add more information. The, other, the next thing we can do is we can add more particles. Um, you know, there's more, there's more than I've listed there as well. There are, and we can just essentially add more, uh, I guess, things participating in the activity. Um, we, there is a, there's also other other information that we can add. Um, so I've got, for example, in the main section, I've got time. Um, timing doesn't always need the particle need, but for, well, for argument's sake, let's say that it does most of the time. Um, but there's also timing thing, timing expressions like frequency and duration. Um, as a, so instead of nichiyobi ni or kinyobi ni or whatever, um, you have things like my nichi ichijikan. And then adverbs as well. And so, um, again, because of all of this stuff in the information, uh, the other information section is the word order, again, is, is secondary to using those blocks, I suppose, as a whole. Uh, for most of them, it includes using a particle. For the ones like frequency, duration, and adverbs, it doesn't. But so if we take a sentence like Watashi wa mainichi toshokan de benkyou shimasu That mainichi and toshokan de parts We can swap that and say Watashi wa toshokan de mainichi benkyou shimasu Those elements can be moved around within that other information section It's the same with if, we, if I said Watashi wa ichijikan toshokan de benkyou shimasu Watashi wa toshokan de ichijikan benkyou shimasu We can move those around Same with adverbs, we can say <laughs> We can say, um, Watashi wa shizuka ni toshokan de benkyou shimasu. Or we can say, Watashi wa toshokan de shizuka ni benkyou shimasu. Um, anything in that other information section can essentially be moved around freely. Uh, so, the, and the next, so the next major thing, um, the, other, the other hugely important way in which we can expand on, what, on this basic um, structure is to look at each of these individual blue things in particular. So, well, it applies to the others as well, but the blue ones, if you notice, they're, they're all things. They all, rep and they're all represent, and things are represented by nouns. So what we can do is we can add more information uh, about those nouns, about those things, uh, by building um, what are more detailed noun phrases. So a noun phrase is any phrase that describes a single thing, or, and, and therefore it acts like a noun in a grammatical sense. So if I'm talking about a car, Car is a noun, but a car, well, a car is a noun phrase on its own, but a car is a noun phrase. A blue car is a noun phrase. Um, my car, my blue car, um, the car that I bought yesterday, these are all noun phrases and they all refer to one thing, a car. And so we can expand more, inf we can add as much information about that car as we want and use it in the same way in a sentence as we would if we only used the word car. Uh, so if we take... Uh, a simple sentence like Taro wa kuruma de gakko ni kimashita We can expand uh, Well we can expand any of the blue parts I'm not going to expand on Taro because I think we Think that's enough information about him <laughs> <laughs> But we can take kuruma and say Watashi wa aoi kuruma de gakko ni kimashita Oh sorry, ta Taro wa <laughs> We can say Taro wa watashi no kuruma de gakko ni kimashita We can say Taro wa watashi no aoi kuruma de gakko ni kimashita Or we can say Taro wa watashi ga kino katta aoi kuruma de gakko ni kimashita and so we're just expanding, <coughs> excuse me, we're just expanding, adding more information to this noun. And of course we can do the same with gakko. So we can say, Taro wa kuruma de oki gakko ni ikimashita. Taro wa kuruma de kinjo no gakko ni ikimashita. Taro wa kuruma de kinjo no oki gakko ni ikimashita. Taro wa kuruma de saikin koji ga owatta kinjo no oki gakko ni ikimashita. And so because each of these are isol uh, essentially isolated from each other, we can use any of, these com any of these in any combination. So I can say, Taro wa watashi ga kino kata aoi kuruma de saikin koji ga owatta kinjo no oki gakko ni ikimashita. And also because they're in the other information section, we can swap it around. We can move, we can put the, the destination before the means. So we can say, Taro wa, we can say, Taro wa kinjo no gakko ni um, and so that's really the, the, between that and adding what we had on the previous slide in terms of adding different verb tenses, different verb forms, um, that really 
opens that that is enough to understand pretty much anything that a student will ever learn about Japanese.